Okay, here's part of the KISS 2 setup. I'm going to show you how to do one of these uh, deep water culture setups. Real simple. I've got a couple of air stones in there. Look at this. Look at this baby box child. It's no longer a baby. <laughs> this stuff is incredible. Check this out. I mean, go figure. See this bubble? I have a bubble in inlet here. Just like the... Uh, bubble bucket, which uh, goes bubble through there, really a bubble, anyway I'm going to show you guys how to put this together, and you can see with this toy that I'm doing in this uh, little DWC project, the roots start even high up, so this means that the bubbles reach that far. Otherwise, they wouldn't start roots. And you can see that the level is right at the bottom of the pot. A little better look at those roots at the top. They wouldn't happen unless the water was getting up there. So I think the bubbles burst and reach basically all the way to the top. Here's a very small but effective DWC setup using a busboy tray. I love these trays. They're, they're gray so they don't get a lot of algae, although they will get some. But they're very durable and UV resistant apparently. First of all, we're going to run air through the sight glass tubing. Sight tubing. And the way we do this is we drill a 13 sixteenths hole for a half inch grommet with a half inch elbow and a half inch hose. Then we make an adapter to a quarter inch air hose from an air pump by utilizing different size tubing. And they all fit very well. So the air tubing would go in like so. Since the air won't go very far in this long uh, busboy tray, I'm going to attach another little hose. This is just standard drip hose like you get for your, by your, for your garden with a nylon hose clamp and an end cap that you can actually fold and reduce the size of the hose. So this is what it'll look like. So we've got the hose with the with the reducer clamp thing. We've got three holes drilled in there, about an eighth inch hole. Got the, got the uh, nylon clamp, and then we just attach it to the end of that half inch elbow. So when that hose is installed, it looks like this: hose clamp secured on the bitter end of the uh, elbow pinched off there so you're only getting this amount of air. Now to accommodate the other end we kind of bit the bullet and purchased a uh, air stone, circular air stone, that works really well and will stay in that position the way we route the hose. So we ended up having just this thing we made here, the extender and the air hose. And we'll fill it and see how it works. First of all we're going to use a uh, double outlet pump. Now these air pumps are really very inexpensive and you can actually adjust the output a certain amount. And they work great. They last a really long time. So here we are. We're going to put one hose from that air pump in this fitting. And then place the other hose to this air stone once we get the cap on. So we can route it through the top of the cap. Of the, uh, cap. Now we've routed that hose to the air stone through the cap. To a hole at the end to keep that air stone at that end 
of the tank. So you have air is going to come out here and there, and it's going to be distributed throughout the tank or the reservoir pretty well. Now the cap is just a standard busboy cover, and I've drilled three inch holes, as you can see, with a hole saw. Now the reason I chose white instead of gray, they do make gray ones, but the gray one's about three times more expensive for some reason. And really this doesn't get all that much algae anyway, so it works out great. Now when planting fairly new plants, I fill it to about a half inch from the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. So that it will get moisture up to the roots. So everything's installed. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Okay, here we have, we have extended the range of the, of the air, about almost halfway actually. And then we have this air storm which is putting out quite a bit. And it'll stay in that area on, you know, it, it might float around a little bit. But depending on where this hose is, we keep the hose in the last uh, hole in the corner. So you should get, once this, especially once all the plants are in, you get a really good distribution of air. Give it a little better shot with the lid up. You can see that there are quite a few air bubbles in there. So now we prepare the plants. I've chosen three different varieties of uh, lettuce. And these are pretty reasonably priced. Really you can get a four pack for you know a couple of bucks. I've got red sails, butter crunch, and red romaine. So all we have to do is take these plants out, rinse off the roots, and put them in a pot. Now here's a couple of the red romaine that have been rinsed off. Now you don't have to be perfect about this. You can use a little bit of soil. It'll wash away in the system. So here are two ready to go. You want to make sure you get the roots on the bottom actually and distribute to distribute them throughout. So here's a couple in the system. You want to make sure it's down good. And at the bottom it is about a quarter to a half inch inside the nucleus solution. We're going to do nine plants to start with because as they grow we will need these extra holes to spread them out. So here we are the next day. Now, either they've, they've grown a little bit or they're standing up straight. I think they're just standing up a little straighter. I just wanted to check the airflow. It all looks good on both ends. Lots of bubbles. Let's check it out here. Sure enough, so many bubbles. I think we're going to do fine. We'll sit it down, wait a couple of days, and see what happens. Well, here's our uh, favorite busboy tray ebb and flow setup. Basically the same tray, 
with a submersible pump, a flood and drain fitting to hook to the pump for the upper tray, and a homemade overflow fitting made from uh, electrical PVC. Now we're going to poke a couple of holes in the upper tray to accommodate the flood and drain fitting and the overflow fitting. The lid is exactly the same as the one you saw in the uh, DWC setup. We're going to modify this by cutting a, a slit in here. And we've already cut a hole to accommodate the sight tube and our air tube and sight tube. So. Now the location of your flood and drain fitting depends basically on the size of pot you want to use. I like this kind of pot because as we've seen we can grow pretty decent sized plants in those size pots. Now you can grow a plant to actually produce fruit or like I do, I, I usually transplant them into a larger machine once they get this size. So what we're going to need to do in this case is to put the flood and drain fitting both in line about in the center which would be towards the uh, level indicator end and an air tube right here. So now we can accommodate six of this style net pots. Now to control the level of the nutrient solution we just need to put different lengths of pipe. We can put it anywhere we want. So we've got all the components installed. Now all we need to do is clean everything up a bit and install the pump. Now this just requires half inch hose, two hose nylon hose clamps, and a pump. So let's fill it up and check it out. Also while we're filling this up, you'll notice I've drilled two small holes alongside the uh, flood and drain fitting. This is to allow full drainage when the pump stops. Also you want to fill the uh, nutrient container as full as possible and try to maintain that level. And it looks like we've achieved that. So, here we go. Oh. And that's a very good, uh, very good flow. It will, it will create a lot of good aeration. And it's going to fill right up to the overflow. We've left the pipe out because we want to get a real quicker demonstration. But if you want the level to be higher, you can just add a piece of the pipe to the hole. And there it goes. That's an excellent flow. When the pump stops, the water will flow back through the flood and drain fitting and through these two small holes back into the reservoir. Let's see if we can see some of that action. There we go. So all is well. This looks like it's going to work really good.